There are three things we know about the WWE over the past 24 hours. Number one, a lot of crazy crap has went down uh, for this Sunday at TLC due to an outbreak of mumps. Number two, we know that since Bray Wyatt and Roman Reigns will be out of commission this Sunday at TLC due to said mumps, Mumps are now the number one babyface in WWE. Number one by a mile. Am I wrong? How many of you don't like Roman Reigns? The Mumps have come in and saved the day for you. How many of you, like me, did not want to see Sister Abigail versus Darth Pumpkin Sunday? And now we don't have to. Mumps is one of the hottest baby faces the WWE has had in a long, long time. And if you want a baby face that should win the Royal Rumble and go on to WrestleMania and get a monster push, it's the Mumps right now, believe me. But number three, <clears throat> we also know now that the WWE is kind of in a panic mode, and understandably. This is something that's not their fault. It's not something they can necessarily control. We wonder who Patient Zero is, though. JoJo, we're looking at you. Um, but they, but they had to replace these, I mean, people, because these are guys that you had invested a lot of television time into and their business at the pay-per-view, and then you're not going to get them at the pay-per-view. So you don't plan on this crap happening. You have to make a really quick split decision here. So we know that WWE had to do that. And once they made the announcement of who was going to replace these guys, predictably, it seems like a lot of people now are pretending like this show is much better than it actually is. And they're pretending that this is some great thing that AJ Styles will replace Sister Abigail and that Kurt Angle will be the one to replace Roman Reigns. And I hate to be Captain Crap on your parade here, but no, I don't. I enjoy it sometimes. Sometimes I actually really, really like being Captain Crap on your parade. But you'll have to pardon me here, because i got to throw the BS flag a little bit. Number one, I understand the excitement of not getting to have to see Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor in any capacity. Believe me. Believe me. I get it. But don't be one of those jerk-offs that's sitting there saying, Well, you didn't want that match. You didn't get that match. Anything's got to be better than that. Again, if we use that standard of anything's got to be better... That's really not saying much. So just throwing something out there in and of itself is naturally going to be better. That doesn't mean it's good. That doesn't mean it's right. And it doesn't mean that's the way we should have gone. And for all the people like me that sit there and complain about the randomness of WWE matches and how they just give away big matches either on television or at secondary pay-per-views with little to no buildup, here is a perfect example. These two former heads of the Bullet Club, AJ Styles, Finn Balor, Absolutely zero WWE story at play and only 48 hours and a little bit more to build up to the match. But now all of a sudden you're supposed to be um, mesmerized by the thought of AJ Styles and Finn Balor this Sunday. Give me a freaking break. How nerdy can everybody be? That's exactly what it is. It's nerd crap. You got to be a nerd to sit there and think Finn Balor is a freaking future main eventer. And you got to be a nerd to sit there and dismiss all the complaining that we do about the randomness of matches and how the stories don't matter. There are no stories and they give away big matches before they should. But now all of a sudden you just can't help yourself like a virgin that first time you even touch something, you're just ready to explode and you explode quickly because, oh my God, they're doing AJ Styles for $10 is the best match we've seen in a long, long time. Give me a break. And then as far as the other match with Kurt Angle, replacing Roman Reigns wouldn't it have made more storyline sense at this point to replace Roman Reigns with Jason Jordan and I'm not just trying to troll you here kind of but not really because it actually does furthermore what's really disappointing to me about this is there's been a lot of debate and discussion about if and when Kurt Angle would step back into a WWE ring we know he'd wrestle in TNA for years and so on and so forth so let's not go down that path but the point is from a WWE standpoint he hadn't been in a WWE ring in over a decade when was he going to wrestle his next WWE match this is something a guy, a legend, WWE Hall of Famer, one of the all-time greats for that company, one of the biggest stars and one of the most successful eras in the company's history, 
This is not something you just throw away for the hell all of it. You do not use a Kurt Angle as a replacement. You use Kurt Angle as a franchise piece to building a major show such as, oh, I don't know, a freaking WrestleMania or worst case, a SummerSlam. You don't sit there and take Kurt Angle who hasn't wrestled in your ring in over a decade and randomly shoehorn him into this crap, which in and of itself, this Shield versus uh, Team Miz crap that really belongs at Survivor Series that was kind of fumble fucked together at the last minute, shoehorned into place his damn self. You don't sit there and then as a result, also shoehorn Kurt Angle into this. You're giving people 48 hours to get excited about Kurt Angle wrestling in a ring for the first time in over a decade. And at this point, I do wonder if Kurt Angle can wrestle and get cleared by the doctors. Why the hell couldn't Daniel Bryan? <laughs> I'm just saying. What's even more ridiculous about this is, is while the WWE was in a, a non-enviable position, of having to sit there and swap out two guys that you would invest a lot of TV time in and try to make this go. What I really don't get is why we would spoil the surprise for both of them. I don't. Why not wait until Sunday and tell people they have to tune in to see who Finn Balor is going to face. You're going to have to tune in Sunday to see... Who's going to replace Roman Reigns? Why would we just blow the wad on both of them? Now, if you wanted to do it for one of them, fine. If you sat there and said, you know, we're going to announce it's going to be AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. Stupid. Waste of a bigger match that belongs on the mid card of a notable pay-per-view such as a SummerSlam, such as a WrestleMania, such as a Royal Rumble, something like that. We'll just throw it away at this crappy TLC pay-per-view, which, and again, is crappy even with this news, even with these replacements, you just sit there and throw out Kurt Angle like he's just another guy. You don't do that with your legends. You don't do that with your Hall of Famers. If nobody else is going to stand out in terms of your current roster, then you best damn sure treat your legends and your icons like they're something different, like they're something special, just to randomly throw it out there and say, Kurt Angle's going to be here. What a freaking joke. Why the hell would you waste him in his first return match in over a decade in WWE on this crappy story at this crappy pay-per-view in this crappy three-on-five handicap tag match? I don't get it. And the whole notion of these two guys coming in and helping to save the show. Have you looked at the card for TLC? AJ Styles and Finn Balor with absolutely no story behind it is going to save it? I'm sorry, but moves aren't enough for a match. Especially if it's supposed to be a big match. If you want to be a nerd about it, be a nerd about it, but I'm not going to be. And as far as Kurt Angle, again, we are wasting him on a stupid story. It was randomly thrown together and shoehorned, kind of compacted in together at the 11th hour. Kurt Angle wrestling at a WWE pay-per-view should be a big, huge deal that you build up as a big, huge deal for weeks, if not months of television time. I understand maybe you're a few men short, but for crying out loud, there had to be a better alternative and a better option at this point. And it would have been if, assuming JoJo didn't give him the mumps too, Jason Jordan. Because then you potentially use that as a building block to something big for Kurt Angle down the road, like having a match with The Miz at WrestleMania. And that's a WrestleMania match that I could get behind. And sure, you could still get there with Kurt Angle being a part of this match now, but it's just not the same. And you're really just randomly throwing this in there. And for all the big matches that this company doesn't give us and all the randomly thrown together crap that we get and all of the matches that we get with absolutely no purpose, meaning, or story, I'm supposed to get excited about these two guys getting randomly thrown in there at the 11th hour? Chow, please. TLC looked like it was going to suck beforehand and these two guys being a part of the show aren't going to save it for me. Period. You want to get nerdy nerd and giggly tits about it? Fine. But don't expect me to. This is stupid. Especially the premise of spoiling both of these guys wrestling on the card Sunday. At least save one of them as a surprise. Throw AJ Styles out there fine and say, just wait until you see who's going to wrestle in that main event with the shield to replace Roman Reigns. 
This company can't do any damn thing right. 